I was doing uh, <laughs> Blackberry Time, written by Alan Plater and, and Michael Chaplin at the Live Theatre. Jane Ornell turned up, a casting agent, and, and who was casting a show called Casualty. She saw me in that. She wanted a character called... They were looking for a character called Jimmy, a regional character, Geordie, Welsh, Scottish, whatever. I auditioned, and I got a, a lead character in, in, in Casualty. So I said to the doctor, I've got a cricket ball shoved up my bottom. He says, how's that? I said, have a word to the wise. As soon as we set the date for the talent contest, I'll let you know. Till then, can you keep the cabaret act outside this building? I wasn't really thinking about researching the character, Jimmy. I'll be deeply honest with you. I was just thinking I'm going to be paid 800 quid a week. <laughs> That's it. Because they, they, they told me in the audition you'll get your Newcastle base and you'll be getting 800 pounds a week plus 600 pounds expenses. I didn't think about researching the character. One little bit, I thought, ooh, I'll be able to buy a nice big head. You don't stand around nattering when I've been waiting three quarters of an hour for these x-rays. Yeah, well, don't get at me. Some prad have pinched them for a lecture. That's pretty good, that. Eh? Someone got out of bed the wrong side this morning. I went up for the part of the porter, Jimmy, in Casualty, and came. I was told I'd come down to the last two in that. Um, but they they gave it to this uh, this actor called Robson Green, and uh, but my reward for coming second was a spectacular guest death in the first episode. We were on tour in uh, Edinburgh with an, with a Nightingale sang, and it was at the time that people were just starting to recognise Robson. And if we if we weren't allowed into a nightclub, he used to say, "Hang on a minute, hang on," and then go and walk past, humming the Casualty theme tune, going, "Da da 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 da, Jimmy the Porter, Jimmy the Porter." <laughs> it's like waiting for the Four Horsemen today, I'm afraid. Not waiting, it's as my friend, it's Tony. He don't get upset. It was so. I made him go back. It was me. It's my fault. I made him go back. Accident like that, you're gonna feel rough. Look, do you want me to go and find out how he's doing? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's all right. He's a very clever actor. He's, he's very clever. The thing is with Robson, he, he takes his work very seriously, but he doesn't take himself too seriously, and I think that's why, that's why he's, he, he's great fun. To, he's just a, he's a great company, he's a great company member. Please put your hands together and welcome tonight's very special guests, the Band of Gold. Thank you very much. <clears throat> good evening, London. It's good to be back. In any great series or great relationship, I think nine times out of ten, you'll get a chemistry behind camera that um, lends itself in, in, in front of the lens. And if you are getting on socially, and you have a, a common ground anyway in character, and, and, and me and Jerome, we just got on. It was very natural from the word go. I won't say love at first sight. Um, but we clicked. We clicked. And I... He made me laugh a lot very quickly. And that was good enough for me. I won't ever have a friend like Dave again. And he stands for everything that's been good about my time with B Company. Friendship, loyalty, a great laugh. And a lot more than that. I'm going to miss it. And I'm going to miss him a lot. In series five, there is the scene where Paddy Garvey announces he's, he's leaving. Um, and going on to Pastures New and Dave Tucker's saying the same thing. But in real life, it was a sort of parting of the ways. We were saying goodbye. And it was, it only took one take because there was no acting required, really. You'll be all right, man. Will I? Yes. Of course you will. You've got Donna, haven't you? Well, it's, uh, it's funny you should say that. Because I haven't. No. No! I haven't. 
what he did with Dave Tucker, I think, was just beautiful. People loved that character. They just loved it. And it was really moving, actually. Um, well, it was quite moving. Because I knew I was going to see Rob again. Just wish I could, right now, turn the clock back. A couple of years. Everything seemed really great then. I know. Really, Paddy, it really seemed really great. I, I thought that we could do more television together as those kind of two characters. Not Paddy and, Paddy and Tucker, but the buddy buddy thing. I see, I love that. Rob loved it as well, but he, he really wanted to concentrate on his career. When you look at a script, do you see yourself in it? Yes or no? That's an instant reaction. Oh yes, I can see myself playing this part. Do I like the story and do I like what it has to say? And that's very instant as well. But also it is, will people care about this relationship? Or will people care, will people want to follow this character? And the likes of Grafters, 